Previously on the iGolf Game Changer, we partnered ANZ Olympic Ambassador Hamish Carter with coach Craig Dixon. I've never had a lesson before. It's uh, not going to be pretty. The aim of the game to turn Carter from triathlete to golden golfer. Oh. Whoa! We've got to fix that slice. If I can play with my mates next month and beat them, fantastic. A quick trip to the Institute of Golf's technology room confirmed just how big Hamish and Craig's job will be. Cool thing about this, this gives us all the measurables, all the information we need yep. to design your game improvement program. So, lesson one, let's fix that slice. It definitely needs to be fixed. <laughs> so it's time for Hamish's first lesson, um, which we're really excited about. We know, based on last time we got on the golf course, he hits the right ball. So today, a big component of it is to teach him actually what the club has to do in order to create flight, and then we're going to spend a bit of time implementing it. So really excited. I'm oh, looking forward to it, actually, sort of taking the swing I've got and the game that I've always played and sort of never really knew the technical aspects of it, so it's going to be great to actually be able to change a few things. A lot of it's about beating his mates. Like, he's sliced the ball his entire golfing career, so to be able to implement these changes pretty quick is going to take a lot of mental aptitude, but he's got it. So when you normally come down, you're in this position. Yeah. In fact, you're normally here. Okay, so you see at the back of the handle, yeah. almost pushing up? Yeah. So just push Shut it down. down. All right, let's set, set you up again. Yeah. Okay, so from there. Yeah. Good. Shut the face down. Yeah. Feels yeah. like I'm just going to come down and just chug straight into the ground. I don't care how it feels. Straight in. Don't yeah. it. Okay. Because you don't know what good feels like yet. Yeah. Okay, so swing back and set the down. There you go. Okay. There you go. You can overdo it. But the worst thing that's going to happen if you overdo it is going to go left. So you need to commit to this for me, okay? Yeah. I need you to shut it down as much as you can. Have Ooh. some fun with it. It's all I want you to think about. Shut it down. Okay. All right. I got this. Let's do it. Hey! What a hook! So you see what's started to happen now? Because the ball started to turn this way, yeah. you've started to gain some form of control of what the club face does, yeah. and now you've started influencing ball flight. It's brilliant. Shut it right down. <laughs> that was it. That's it. Look at that. Straight. Mate, that was, that was sensational. That's awesome. Well done. Can I do another one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, you hit, you do something for, you know, ever since I've really played golf, and suddenly it just completely changes through one small bit of advice. <laughs> That's genius. Hamish thinks he's got the secret. <laughs> but look, let's face it, he has to ingrain it. He has to spend some time doing exactly the same thing. Getting you to hit it good is not that hard. It's getting you, getting you to a point where you can't do it wrong. That's what takes time. And we're going to keep doing it till you can't get it wrong. Yeah. No. That felt really good, though. Yeah, but it's faded by about five feet. Yeah, I know. I want you to draw yeah, it. Yeah, OK. <sighs> That's so good. And then when it hits the ground, it actually rolls straight as well. Because <laughs> normally for me, it would hit the ground and just take off to the right. So you just get this another 20 metres of distance on the ball. Crack it. And it rolls straight. Well, it's because you've hit it straight. I actually can't wait to go have a game now. He's now becoming a more confident player, and he wants to get out with his friends. He wants to show off. Yeah, they'll be pretty shocked when they see me hit it. <laughs> it's just incredible. Well done. Well done, man.